we're going to be looking at the top 30 vintage football card sales on eBay for the month of June. Prices range from about $2,000 all the way up over $40,000. Walter Payton makes multiple appearances on the list, as do PSA 10s of classic vintage football sets. That being said, let's start off this list. Starting off the top 30 list this month is this Walker 1948 Leaf. This sold for $2,000 in a PSA 7. Obviously, OC, it impacts a lot of Leaf cards. And um, I'm not sure if there's any variants on this specific player. A lot of the Leaf football have different color variants based off of the printing. And uh, sometimes they go for a pretty hefty premium. But I think a lot of this price is baked into that 7 grade. 2025 for uh, Jim's card. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. And I'm to be honest with you guys, I'm going to butcher it really, really bad. Um, these designs are obviously very similar to hockey ones. So a little shout out to my hockey series if you want to check those ones out. But uh, 2025 for a PSA 8. Not sure if this is a short print or not. There are short printed cards within the 65 football set. 2028 uh, 20, uh, for this 1966 Johnny Unitas in a PSA 8 for Philadelphia. I really like Philadelphia cards. I wish they uh, continued after their little bit of short run. Or expanded out to baseball. I don't think they ever did. But uh, looks like there's some staining or something like that down here in the bottom left. Uh, but it's still awarded that 8 grade. $2,100 for this 1958 Jim Brown. Um, Actually, this isn't a bad looking card with that autograph on there. I can't tell the bottom edge because this picture kind of sucks. But, uh, and if that's like a crease or that's staining on there, I'm leaning towards that. But like, it looks pretty nice overall. Like, it kind of looks like a three-ish on the card. Clean autograph. Um. Big missed opportunity not getting this card to dual grade between the autograph and the card itself because it presents really nice. 21 at 25, Tom Landry, PSA 8, 19 at 51 at Bowman. Nice looking card. Looks like there's a little bit of a tilt though, possibly on that corner. Or it could just be an illusion based off of where it's at in the slab and maybe it's like a diagonal cut. Hard, hard to say. You can kind of see that right there. Almost looks like the bunny ears. Obviously, I don't have that card in person, but it's more prominent. You can see here on the black border. Um, older graded, but it, like I said, it still looks pretty sharp. $2,200 for this 1966 Dick Butkus PSA 8. One of these Philadelphia's. Always turn these over on the back. Shows all the damage. And uh, nice clean copy overall. 2230 Fred Blintikoff. Rookie. This, I believe, is the short print in that set. And uh, probably the second best card in the set, I would think. Looking copy. 2247 uh, and 22 cents for this 1980 Walter Payton in a PSA 10 grade. Newer uh, cert as well. 2272 on this 1981 Joe Montana in a PSA 9. You'll see another Joe Montana a little bit later in this video uh, that is autographed, but this is the non autoed version. 2456, 1975 Roger Staubach Sports Card Forever. It sells a ton of iron cards. Sim every um, episode essentially across the board. Maybe not on, uh, yeah, I was going to say maybe not on sports, but he's been featured on there too. But uh, pretty uh, high sale. Style back, always really popular. Makes this list quite a bit. Bob Lilly, 24 at 95. This 1963 tops in a PSA 8. Very condition sensitive cards with these colored borders. And also the coloring here on that. 2551, 1935 at Newt Rockney in a PSA 4. I hate when they say it looks nicer, but this does look way nicer than a four. I don't know how this got a four. Um, it's, it's a great looking card. Anthony Munoz, dual 10. Auto and the card itself, 26.56. Maybe a little bit of a diamond cut. 
but pretty clean copy overall. Three thousand dollars for this nineteen is seventy one Terry Bradshaw in an eight. I don't think this is the nicest looking eight, maybe just from this picture, but uh, I got their premium on it. Also three thousand dollars Sid Luckman. Uh, this calls out the yellow background. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, there's a bunch of different backgrounds. Uh, matter of fact, there is a someone that just published a book on leaf cards. I'm going to probably pick up a copy at the National just to read into it a little bit more, um, educate myself because it's hard to know everything in the hobby, but very clean looking at six. 3125, 1986, Jerry Rice in a PSA 9. Very... Uh, Tough card to get in high grade. Crisp on this one. Every little bit of damage shows, and a lot of these are off centered. 34, 72, 1981. Walter Payton. Let's see, 10. Two Walter Payton 10s. And there's going to be another one a little bit later, but uh, another really nice sale. 36, uh, 45, 1972. AFC Championship tops in a 10. Dolphins where the Colts were shut out by going to a uh, set builder for this one. 3750, 1984, Dan Man Marino, PSA 10. $4,050, 1971, Joe Green, PSA 8. This picture kind of sucks, but you can see it is nicer than uh, the other 1971 we saw a little bit earlier. Chuck. Sold for uh, $4,300 in A5. Terrible censoring on this one. Corners look pretty good, but man, that centering is not good. Here's other Joe Montana I alluded to. $4,678. We have a mint 9 on the card, but with a 10 auto right here on the center. No inscriptions by any means, but uh, great one. Sales are going to start to go a little bit. Paul Costa, 1970 Tops PSA 10. This sold for $56.77. 64 dollars for this 1957 Johnny Unitas SGC 8. There was an 8.5 that sold, I believe, in the recent Heritage auction. Uh, it was a PSA 8.5. But uh, I think that one sold for like $30,000. And I was curious where the 8 sells for. And uh, tell me right here. Sixty-five hundred dollars, nineteen on forty-eight leaf of Bobby Lane, PSA seven, super super generous seven. I mean, look at that horrible print effects. I'm I'm shocked that got a seven. Seven thousand dollars for this nineteen sixty-five at Joe Namath, PSA seven. Seventy-five hundred dollars, nineteen eighty-two Lawrence Taylor, three tens and a nine-five. Man, that must have hurt getting that last nine-five, but. For the day, you have a BGS 10 pristine. You should be pretty happy with it. $8,800 for this 1933 Sports Kings Gem at Thorpe. X near mint six from CGC. In the highest sale, a 1976 Walter Peaton in his 10, $41,600. Uh, funny enough, there was an autographed version of this that just recently sold for like $34,000. Again, heritage video that will be out pretty soon, but I wanted to show you guys some honorable mentions as well before ending off this video. Up first, Staubach, this eight, sold for $1,700 on his rookie card. Always a pretty quick mover when you get one of these in inventory. $1,400 for this Jim Jimmy Brown. Um, PSA 8. Low pop, though. Nice looking pack over there. Good looking card. 57, 77, 1958, complete set. It says near mint. Uh, the Jim Brown was authenticated by eBay. If you collect the set, let me know if this was a uh, decent deal or not. Oh, look pretty good. BGS 10 sold for 7,500. The PSE 10 sold for 4,850. Normally I don't show duplicates of cards unless there's an autograph, but I just wanted to show you on a vintage card the difference between a BGS 10 and a PSA 10. I know they're different grades, so uh, you don't need to put that comment down there, but it's uh, a pretty big price jump difference. And lastly, I know this technically isn't a card. It says this was a team-issued rookie card. Um, 
I don't know, sometimes these get classified as cards, sometimes they're photos, but this sold for 2200 for this Joe Namath great auto here in the center. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other past football videos that I have made here on the channel. If you also collect other sports, I have those videos as well. All right, I'll see you in the next one.